Well, welcome back to Voyager Pharmaceuticals, a channel vertically integrating the barium and iodine contrast market and joining to discuss uh, basically moving forward with this vertical integration on the actual refining and production side. Let's talk about Brent Willis or with Brent Willis, the CEO joining us first and foremost. Welcome, sir. How are you doing? Living the dream and a pleasure to get you on as you guys announced you're moving forward with the Tillion, uh, you know, to phase a scale up and build the economics feasibility study, get into a pilot plan, maybe break this down and uh, tell us what's going on. Sure, we've been uh, focused on uh, the Anadarko Basin in Oklahoma for several years now. We've sampled some wells. We've identified an area where we want to set this project up. And uh, we've been working with a company called Atillion who have the ability to extract iodine from oil field brine waters at uh, we believe going to be lower costs and conventional methods being used today. So the next steps here are we're going to do a uh, bench scale testing with them and then uh, go into our feasibility and build out a 200 ton a year uh, pilot plant, which is basically one of their units processing 40,000 barrels a day of water. And uh, after that, we will expand out to produce, uh, you know, it, all we have to do is plop another unit and it goes up another 200 tons a year. So we're going to ex just slowly expand out to 1,000 tons of I2 production. And this I2 comes out as a very high purity. It's going to be GMP. And we'll end up, what we're going to do is sell it to uh, current pharmaceutical companies that uh, are looking for I2 to make their pharmaceutical drugs. And uh, in parallel, we'll start building out our own pharmaceutical facility to make our own drugs. So that's that's the basis. And, and uh, I guess one of the important facts to understand here is that, uh, you know, by creating the I2 at lower costs, uh, it allows Voyager when we're moving forward with our own pharmaceutical production. Um, there's multiple different iodine um, chemicals that is required to make the final drug. So we're we're going to be making all of our own iodine uh, excipients in-house instead of importing them. So everything's going to be vertically integrated with all the different ingredients that goes into manufacturing iodine drugs. And we expect that our manufacturing costs will be 50% lower than uh, anyone else out there in the world. So it's uh, very significant and it secures the supply chain for North America. We'll be the only company in the world manufacturing iodine drugs in the U.S. and uh, providing a secure supply chain for the U.S., Canadian, Mexican markets. Yeah, and it seems like the uh, the investor audience seems to be uh, waking up to the reality of uh, the value you bring to the market here as your stock seems to be performing exceptionally well on the back of a lot of this news. We pass it off to you, the viewer, as well. We'd love to know what you think about all of this in that comment section. And consider subscribing as news catalysts come down the wire like this, of course. We'll bring it to you here. But on that, as always, we look forward to catching you in the next one.